Hello there and welcome to this new video. If you're using WordFast Pro 5, you could make use of a very handy feature. You could connect to a free remote translation memory. Would you like to know how this can be done? Please follow me in this video. So just before we get started, just bear in mind that this will not work in the simple demo version of WordFast Pro 5. You will need either a full license for WordFast Pro 5 or you will need to get a 30 day uh, license and you can get it here to this page. I will put a link to this page in the video description. And just bear in mind that in at the moment of uh, making this video, uh, this page is better accessed in Microsoft Edge. You have actually a few problems if you try to fill in this form uh, in uh, Firefox or in Google Chrome. So that being said, uh, let's look on how we can connect to a remote translation memory that you can access for free, which is called the VLTM for very large translation memory. So you need to be here uh, with your project opened and uh, in here in this menu. So you need to be in the current project view. And now you go to project TM. So you click on this tab and you want to click on connect to remote. And you will get this form. So you have two tabs here, uh, TM server and WF server. So you want to be in the WF server tab. So I'm going to name it appropriately VLTM. There you go. And now you will need to fill the rest of the form starting with the URL. So what I've done is I'll put in the video description uh, all you need to fill this uh, starting uh, with this. So what you need to bear in mind before copying and pasting this link is the languages you'll be working in. And you'll be able to define that with the two letters here and the two letters here. So here EN stands for English. So that's your source language. And FR here, French, uh, that's your target language. So you'll need to have the two letters uh, to fill this here to be able to uh, get uh, the result that you want if the VLTM is available in your language. And then the results will depend on how much segments are in the VLTM. If you're not sure of your segments code, I will put a link to here this uh, list of uh, ISO language codes and you'll be able to check this out uh, for yourself. It looks like this. Okay, so let's copy and paste now our link. All right, copy, paste. So now automatically you've noticed that this fills up. So if it doesn't for some reason, uh, you will need to fill up the fields manually. Uh, and ideally you won't have to touch the username here. Make sure the password is the same as the port with a slash in the end. Okay. So just make sure it's like this. In case of any doubt, go to the video description and get what you have here. But the result that you should get is this. Okay. So then you can test, see if it connects. And you'll see here in green connection successful. So that's fine. And you just need then to click on OK. And your VLTM here is connected. OK, so I have now a TM connected to my document. Uh, and that's uh, from WF server. And uh, of course, I need to make sure it's a read only TM. So I can modify my TM. And to make sure I don't get into any trouble, I'm going to tick the read only box. I click on OK and now it's done. So let's see how actually uh, this performs. Let's open this file. Okay, and now if I get to, for example, segment 11, 
I see here that I have a 100% match from my VLTM. So everything is working fine. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that this will help you with your translating work. But there's more you can do. You can also connect to a remote glossary. So you'll be able to do that to learn how to do this by clicking just here uh, at the end of this video. And if you like this video, please uh, leave a comment, uh, give me a like and subscribe to this channel and you'll be able to see more uh, such like videos. Bye bye.